Hey everybody, what's happening? Neil back once again with another film review for you. And this time around, I'm going to be taking a look at A Quiet Place, Part 2. Yes, I finally got to see it. And it is once again directed by John Krasinski, who this time actually also has sole writing credit, which is interesting because the first time around, you know, Part 1 was written by multiple screenwriters. So the film, of course, also... Stars the returning Emily Blunt, his real-life wife, and Killian Murphy is also added to the cast. Now, I have to spoil the first film, of course, <laughs> otherwise I can't really talk about part two. So if you haven't seen part one, go see that, come back, <laughs> and then check out my spoiler-free review, because I'm not going to spoil part two, but I do have to spoil part one. So here we go. In part one. John Krasinski played Lee Abbott, who, the father of his family, uh, that's surviving this alien apocalypse, uh, he sacrifices himself to save his family from these just super creepy aliens that are blind, but they also have supersonic hearing and an armored shell, which is, you know, kind of worse of all. That's the worst part of all is, is this armored shell because it makes them really difficult to kill. So part two begins with a flashback showing the first appearance of these aliens who seem to just want to kill all humans, really. They just seem to be wanting to stomp out any sound. <laughs> you know, it, just, uh, it seems to be their, their nemesis, their, their obstacle in their lives is that, you know, they want to invade other planets or maybe they just crash landed. They don't, you know, we don't really know. Um, but anyway, they, they're just you know, hell-bent on chaos and destruction, uh, and Evelyn, Lee's widow, of course, Emily Blunt, you know, she's got three kids now, so she's got the deaf teen daughter, Reagan, played really well by uh, Millicent Simmons, and uh, her son Marcus, who's played by Noah Jupe, and an infant son now, of course, as well, who was born in part one. So they lost their home, in that film, and uh, now they're on the run. They're on the hunt for a new safe place to stay away from these insanely aggressive aliens. The always watchable Killian Murphy plays Emmett, a family friend who provides the Abbots with a safe haven, but he says they can't stay. You know, he's really reluctant in letting them stay there. You know, he's scared for himself, of course, as all humans are during this alien apocalypse. Uh, in part one, it is revealed that the aliens can't handle high-frequency audio feedback, of course, and that's how the first film concluded with uh, Reagan's hearing aid being used uh, to send noise through a microphone and speaker, basically, uh, which uh, hurts these aliens enough to expose them. So it uh, basically, you know, brings their shields down around their heads. You know, the armor uh, gets... Uh, reduced and then their head is exposed and you can shoot them in the head so you know that's how the humans can fight back uh so naturally you know sign language is used you know very well it comes in handy uh during this uh you know apocalypse and uh simmons who you know lost her hearing in real life you know i mean she's really good here uh, she has a, a more prominent role i'd say in this sequel uh there are some really evil human survivors out there, too. Uh, and some good ones, as well. Uh, so, uh, Jaman Hunsu, I think I'm pronouncing that right, I hope, anyway. Uh, he plays one of the good survivors. And, uh, the you know, the editing here is something I really wanted to point out. The editing is very clever, uh, with some of Reagan's scenes, you know, cut with no sound at all. You know, there's just, just nothing, just silence. So we get her perspective. You know, and uh, when the sound is restored to the scene, it's just rich with so many wonderful sound effects, and uh, it's it's just so tense. Uh, you know, it's it really is just as tense as the first film, I'd say. Uh, and the jump scares are just as good. Uh, I think it should satisfy fans of the first one uh, in terms of the jumps and uh, the visual effects. Of course, I mean it's superbly executed. Uh, the aliens they look they look really cool. I think they look really good. This you know this this ain't no low budget uh, horror film. You know. Uh, so, Murphy stands, uh, out here, uh, again, you know, I gotta mention Killian Murphy, uh, he's a reluctant hero, and he's, you know, he's, he's pretty cool, he's, he's got a pretty cool character, you know, very brave in, 
and at first, and we don't really know if we trust him. So, you know, you gotta watch out for that. But uh, there is some moments of, you know, kind of it seems like it's kind of derivative of other movies. Uh, it is, you know, scenes on the water and we think of Jaws and things. It's, it's like, you know, like, you know, that's normal, though. I think that's, that's, you know, natural. I think it's just really well inspired. You know, I think Krasinski has been just inspired by a whole uh, mishmash of classic horror films. Uh, it's not quite as good as the first one, but uh, I, like I said, I don't think it'll disappoint fans. I think fans of the first film will enjoy it here almost as much, if not as much. So Krasinski, you know, he's become a master of action and suspense, and I hope he makes another one. So I'm going to give A Quiet Place. Shh. Part two. <laughs> <laughs> an 8.5 out of 10. I give the first one a 9.5. So almost as good. Yeah. So 8.5 for part two. The film is actually free. You know, as much as I want to encourage people, especially here in Ontario, Canada, to go to the movie theaters, I think it would be a fantastic experience at the movie theaters. Uh, many people in the States and everywhere else have already seen that. They already know that. Um, but the film is free with a Prime Video subscription as well. So if you want to watch it from home, that's the way to do it. You don't have to pay $34.99, even though you already have a subscription. <coughs> Black Widow. <coughs> so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, this film's already been out since May. Uh, Quiet Place Part 2, but it's, you know, it's just been recently available to stream, so I thought I'd review it. What the hell? Uh, I know it's not quite the same as as the old pop-cultured videos, but, uh, but I still want to do it because I love it, so what the heck, right? You know? Yeah. So, again, you know, just be sure to see the original film first, of course, otherwise things won't add up, naturally. Um, you know, things like, you know, how did Lee die, you know, and like things like that. So it would be completely confusing to an audience that didn't see part one. So obviously you got to see the first one. Otherwise it's incomprehensible. Uh, so as far as I know, there is also a spinoff in the works too. So, Hey, good news. Uh, but that's all for me guys. So thank you so much for tuning into this quick spoiler free review of a quiet place. Part two. This is Neil and I hope you're all doing great and staying safe until next time. Peace.